Welcome back guys. This is question 2.79 and the statement it has is in USA today uh, dated September 5, 1996 the results of a survey involving the use of sleepwear while traveling were listed as follows. Okay, So these sleepwear were for male female and total probabilities of them are also given here. Okay, These are underwear, nightgown, nothing, pajamas, t-shirt and others. So on the basis of it, what do we have to find out? What is the probability that a traveler is a female who sleeps in the nude? Okay. So uh, the solution it has is this is a solution and solution of part A is I have to find the probability that female who sleeps nude or in nothing. Okay. So in the table, let me search for them. So uh, the female column is this one while the nothing row is this one this is for the nude so here we can see that that is basically the entry which it basically process okay so now the probability it has is 0 0.018 and that is basically the solution of part a which we wanted to find okay so that is the solution of part a similarly now what is the probability that a traveler is a male okay uh, so in order to find the probability that probability that a traveler is a male what do we have to do we have to see all the probabilities that are concerned with the males and i have to add them together so therefore i will have to add 0 0.220 0 0.02 0 0.160 0 0.102 okay so let me add them together and here it would be 0 0.220 plus 0 0.002 plus 0 0.160 okay similarly after 0. 102 plus 0 0.046 and the last one here is 0.084 and adding them together what I will get here by adding them together I will get 0 0.614 that is basically the solution of part B which I wanted to find out okay? so that is the solution of part B. Now, uh, in order to find the solution of part C, assuming the traveler is a male, what is the probability that he sleeps in pajamas? Okay, so that is C and I have to find out the probability that he sleeps in pajamas. Okay, given that person is a male, okay, so he is a male. So for it I have to use the conditional probability and on the basis of the conditional probability I have to use that what is the probability that he sleeps in pajamas let me denote it with this p and by for and I am going to use this intersection symbol and for with it I have to write this mail divided by the probability of a mail. So that is what we have. So in order to find that he sleeps in pajamas and he is a male, let me consult this table. So if he is a male, this is for the male one and he sleeps in pajama. This is here. This is this one, this row while this one is this column. So this is the end. Writing their values here, what I will get here writing this 0 0.102 and what is the probability that he is male? This is already calculated. Uh, here okay so that is 0 0.614 okay so dividing it over here what i will get i will get here 0 0.166 and that is what that is the answer of my question now talking about part d of this question what is the probability that a travel is male if the traveler sleeps in pajamas or a t-shirt okay so uh, now finding the probability that a travel is male if he wears pajamas okay or a t-shirt so for or let me write this union symbol and for t-shirt let me write this t okay so using the conditional probability what do i have to write here i have to write the probability that he is a male and he wears pajamas and he also wears t-shirt 
divided by the probability that he wears pajamas or t-shirt okay so as we know that here it is not possible because he will either wear pajamas or t-shirts okay or he can also uh, wear both of them but here the data has not been given so therefore in order to write them accordingly what do i have to write here i can also write it like the probability that he is male and he wears pajamas okay so this is the probability or he is male and he wears a t-shirt okay this is the overall probability of this stuff divided by the probability that he a, he wears pajama or he wears t-shirt so this will be just like here so let me write here pajama or t-shirts okay uh, now let me write them accordingly because using the unions here can also be right the probability of male and pajamas plus probability that he is male and wear a t-shirt okay divided by the probability that he wears pajamas plus probability that he wears a t-shirt okay? so now we have all the data available if he is uh, male and wear pajamas so uh, let me see that where this data is this is written here if he is male and wears t-shirt this is available here probability that he wears pajama this is here and it is also been written here and probability that he wear t-shirt is also been written here so let me write these values here so probability that he's male and uh, wears pajama so this is now here and this is 0 0.102 0 0.102 similarly the probability that he is male and wears a t-shirt this is also being given here this is 0 0.046 so 0 0.046 and dividing it over the probabilities which are given so probability that he wears pajama so this is 0 0.175 okay and the probability that he, he wears a t-shirt so this is 0. 134 okay so now adding them and uh, finding the solution of it so by adding them we will get what 0 0.148 divided by 0 0.309 okay and the answer of it would be what 0 0.478 okay so this is what this is the solution of this part d where we have to find out the probability that he is male if the individual is male if he wears pajama or a t okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have inferred some information which is asked from us in this question 2.79 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box so see you soon